using our module guide. Building stronger community organisations consists of 10 modules. Module 1 is important for all groups as it contains the module guide, which will help you to work out which modules are most important for your group. The module guide provides information on all 10 modules. It will tell you the name of the module, what the module covers and what it will help your group to do. And it asks you to consider how important the module is for your group. To use the module guide, read through the information about each module one at a time and decide whether the module is high priority, medium priority or low priority. High priority is we find the things this module covers challenging and we need to know more. Medium priority is we have some knowledge within our committee, but we want to learn more. And low priority is we do this very well, and so we don't feel that this module would be useful now. It's possible that you may identify all the modules as high priority, and if you have time to work through them all, then that's great. But if you only have time to do a few modules, then you'll need to have discussions with your group about what ones are most important. You could also ask people to vote or you could give them sticky dots to help you see which modules are the most important for your group. And finally, remember to think about the skills and knowledge of your whole committee and not just one or two people. And also think about the skills and knowledge both now, but also in the future, as your group will develop and change over time. Consider the time you have available to do the modules, as that will determine how many modules you're able to do. And lastly, don't just focus on the funding module. All of the modules are important and all of them will help you to access funding, particularly module four, which is project planning and module two, which is governance.